Hey team, I just read a student post about, um, you know, kind of questioning uh, purpose, meaning, uh, the role of the individual, a lot of things. And I wanted to make this post to talk really briefly about existentialism, because that is really the word that's on the tip of our tongues this week as we finish up reading Camus' The Stranger. And there are a lot of different ethics floating around in the forums about existentialism. Now, most of us in the forums have a pretty easy time dismissing existentialist thought as something that is negative, depressing, even dangerous. Um, and I think that that is a very usual kind of common way to view existentialism. But for me personally, it's not the correct way to view it. Um, for me, I feel as if existentialism is incredibly positive. Perhaps it's the most positive philosophy out there. I am a phenomena phenomenological existentialist, so that's my perspective. Um, and I wanted to take a minute to unpack some of that um, so that we have a little bit more of a critical edge in the forums when we bring up these philosophical questions in the context of existentialism because there's a lot more there than meets the eye um you know in order to really grapple with some of the complexities of this philosophy it's important that you read some existentialist writing you know you want to read some nietzsche you want to read some heidegger um you want to read some kierkegaard um, these these will give you a better sense of, and of course you want to read more Camus, <laughs> this will give you a better sense of existentialism proper. And you find that it isn't just one thing, and not all existentialists adopt all of the same world views or all of the same views about humanity. It's just the same thing as in any philosophy. For me, existentialism always comes down to the root word of the philosophy itself, and that is to try to understand existence. What does it mean to exist? What does it mean to be alive, to be a human being? Existentialism really concerns itself with this question, um, I, as I think most philosophies and religions do. Existentialism is different from other belief systems because at its core, an, an existentialist believes that Our existence centers on the act of existing in its basic articulation. So what that means is that we try to place ourselves in the moment of existing because as we exist, that is what we know. We know things from what we experience from what we do, from what we feel, from this state of existence, right? That's how we know things phenomenologically. So as you're existing, an existentialist believes the existence itself is what we know and that we're really incapable of understanding whatever else is going on around that existence. So in some ways, it's a very egocentric philosophy. It kind of takes as its mantra this sense that there's a lot that we don't know. There's a lot that we can't know for sure or even access or understand. And so for the existentialist, this means that there is essentially a lack of meaning. This lack of meaning has caused a lot of criticism from people who want to say, well, I don't want to live in a world that doesn't have meaning. I want my life to have meaning. I want to understand meaning. Now, the existentialist doesn't necessarily think that there is not meaning, but the existentialist does believe that that meaning is not knowable for the individual. Um, the only meaning that is knowable for that individual is what's being, what, what's part of that existence, what's part of that existential experience, which is very limiting in a lot of ways depending on how you look at it. It all comes down to experience. What is entailed in our experience? You know, we feel, we think, we interact. These things happen, they're actual. 
right? They're things that we do know. Now, do we know them in a broader scope of universal plan? Do we know them in a broader scope of how others are interpreting us? We don't. We don't know those things. So an existentialist wants to look at what we do know, and they want to say that there is meaning in the lack of meaning that we perceive or the meaning that we can't perceive, depending on how you want to slant it, right? Um, they're not necessarily saying that everything is hopeless, that there's no point to living, that there's no point to our existence, that there's no fate, that there's no greater scheme. Some existentialists might say that, but existentialism as a broad philosophy is really only looking at the sense that we can't access meaning. And for me, that is very hopeful. I feel almost as if if I had some knowledge of what the meaning is of why I'm here and what I'm doing and what my life means and all of that, I would feel pretty disappointed because I think that there's more to life than what I can perceive. For example, just look at the human eye, the science of the human eye or the human brain, how little of our brain is actually activated um, from what we can perceive from our limited sense of the sciences and technology, um, there's a lot we're not accessing that is there, but we don't interact with it consciously. Does that mean that the meaning should only be in what I perceive in my phenomenological experience? Well, that depends on your philosophy. For me, the answer is no, absolutely not. I believe that there's meaning out there that cannot be perceived. And for me, that is hopeful. That is so hopeful. Think about the possibilities of the things that you don't know. Think about what you've learned in your short period of life. An existentialist is, for me, ah, the grand philosopher. Yeah, I just did call myself the grand philosopher. I've, I'm feeling a lot like Plato. I'm the philosopher queen, right? Um, you know, it's really egotistical. Uh, and I think that a lot of beliefs out there are egotistical existentialism in particular. Um, but as we continue to unpack the complexities of the stranger, I don't want you to just accept the way that most people interpret large scale ideas. That is really, you can really lose out by that. Now you don't have to adopt my perception of existentialism by any means at all. But it is important to think about alternative ways to understand these huge concepts. Um, and that's all that I wanted to say. <laughs> Thanks for listening.